bird on a tree. Hi, Caleb here, and today we're going to the hike up to Jed Johnson Tower in Medicine Park, Oklahoma, uh, or also the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. It's in there too. Um, and I just realized on the last video at the Parallel Forest, I forgot to mention that that one is free as well as this one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we start in our car. Um, you can notice some longhorns off to the left right there. Um, yeah. Uh, and like I said in the last video, there are longhorns and buffalo roaming all over this um, wildlife refuge. And you know, they look soft and cuddly, but they are wild animals and they will hurt you if you bother them. So probably smart just to leave them alone. We say goodbye to our car, you know, stay cool, and we head off to the tower. Now you can actually see the tower from here. It is in the middle left part of the screen. It's just a little guy right there. Uh, the tower is only 60 feet tall, or approximately 60 feet tall, and it was named after Jed Johnson, who was served as a private in the U.S. military in World War One, and then in his later life he became a federal judge. And he was actually approved to be a federal judge twice um, by the U.S. Senate and was nominated by two separate presidents. Now, Jed Johnson sits up above Jed Johnson Lake, um, and the tower was used as a fire watchtower until World War, World War II, and then after World War II, it kind of fell into disarray, and the um, tower is now closed to visitors, um, reportedly because it is structurally unsound, but there are also rumors that it is haunted. And the tower was also built in 1941. Now, if you aren't from Oklahoma, this scenery is probably what not what you expect from Oklahoma. Um, the people I'm actually walking with are from Arizona, and they laughed when I said it was more of a desert. But, you know, it's a very scrubsy, you know, I would call it a desert for Oklahoma standards at least. Now, there are actually a couple of ghost stories around the tower. One story goes that a lady was driving late at night and she accidentally drove her car into the lake, Jed Johnson Lake. Um, and then she escaped her car, but it was winter and she died in the water. And then her body was washed up on shore underneath the tower. And then the other story is, has some quite a few contradicting um, facts, um, but the gist of the story is the same. A lady or a man either threw themselves from the tower or from a dam, the dam on the lake, um, reportedly committing suicide, or they could have been pushed off by the wind or just stumbled. Um, now I couldn't find any history like reports saying that you know a body was found at the bottom of the tower from suicide or the bottom of the dam from suicide but you know anything's possible I guess with the tower being that old you know I'm sure someone has died in the area um, now this trail is a mile to the tower and a mile back Now with the whole, um, you know, scenery, you can tell that it is definitely a warmer trail. Um, so just pack a water. And if you have your Oklahoma fishing license, from what I've heard, this lake it has some pretty good fish in it. Mostly bass, crappie, and catfish. Yeah. So we can get a good view of the lake and the tower. And then some of the Wichita Mountains. And then we continue on. Now, if you noticed a little bit a while ago, there was another path. Um, the other path literally just comes to this same little clearing. So. There's quite a few paths that kind of split off, but they all lead to the same place, which is the tower. Uh, 
Um, animals to watch out for are rattlesnakes, copperheads, uh, buffalo, longhorns, um, and quite a few bugs and spiders and such. Try to avoid people being on camera. And we continue on. Now this path splits off into two and we decided to go this way up to the tower and then on the way back we came the other way. Now you don't really get to see much different like many different things um, but yeah. I don't know what just happened there my computer kind of freaked out um, but yeah we'll keep chugging along. Now. I always advise to stay on the path, especially in places like this. And these paths are pretty evened out. Now I would say this is one of the more moderate trails we've shown on the channel. Um, just because it's a lot of this kind of stuff, so climbing upstairs. The castle was also pretty moderate, um, but they were all uniform stairs and these are not. And that little tree that was just on camera when he looked back. Um, last time I was here, there was a snake crawling all up in that tree. And I just decided to tell him that story. And again, another pass in the tree. Or in the another fork in the path. Wow, I can't talk today. Um, just use your just best judgment. And you'll notice how some of these rocks on the side have like, um, it's a kind of moss growing on them. That's the white and light blue and such. And there are actually lizards who live in this area who have adapted their color pattern to match those rocks. So that birds of prey and other predators cannot see them. So if you decide to come, you know, maybe look out for some lizards. They may be, you know, a nice little sight. And there's the tower again. Now, the only thing that I am not a fan of is people um, litter in the tower, which I don't know what it's like to grow up at the tower, but I would assume it may be a drinking spot. Um, just because there are quite a few broken glass bottles and beer cans in the tower that people have thrown in from the top. Um, but all the doors are locked up, so there's no way that I could get in and clean it out. It's just sad when people, you know, kind of abuse the history. And yeah, so I'm planning on putting up the first vlog that I talked about in the last video. Um, kind of just, you know, following my um, health issues and then basically I have this crazy dream of living out of my car for a month and traveling and, um, you know, basically like a self-discovery um, journey that I have kind of started trying to plan out and yeah basically it's the whole planning process of that and then the health issues that I'm going through and yeah you know just a more insight of my life which there will also probably be sneak peeks of these trails and whatnot. Um, I hadn't decided if I was gonna make them public yet, um, but I think I'm going to. I don't know what day I'm gonna put those up because they're probably gonna be, you know, how a lot of vlogs are like the week of Monday to Sunday, you know, in a video. Uh, there's a good view of the lake, kind of. Or at least we're coming up to a good view of the lake. It's quite, it's pretty big. 
And that mountain in the, well, we just passed it, is Mount Scott, which is one of the highest points in Oklahoma. I was thinking about driving up, or, so, you can hike up it, there's certain days that you can hike up, um, and there's certain days that you can only drive up. Um, we decided to drive up because it's a pretty far, you know, drive. Um, but we all got it on video, so. <laughs> yeah, so that was obviously me, um, and then my cousin, uh, Joey, and Tim is recording. I was gonna try to get them in to give you a little fun fact, but they are busy, and they're about to leave and go back to Arizona, so. Yeah. And as we're coming up to the base, I would rank this probably in 8.5. Um, it's a really, it has a very good payoff, if that makes sense, because this view is stunning. Um, I would probably rank it view-wise with our first one of the castle. Um, now that castle, the view was uh, Turner Falls. And this one is basically a pretty good view of all of, all of um, the Wichita Wildlife Refuge. And that was the hike up to Jed Johnson Tower in Medicine Park, Oklahoma, or you can call it the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Um, next week, it's a surprise on what we're going to be doing because I haven't decided which one to post, so I guess we'll see. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, leave a like and maybe subscribe to see, you know, when I get post next. Bye. Okay, if you push this circle right here, you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you push this one right here, it'll take you to the previous hike. And then this one right here will take you to the full uh, playlist of all the Oklahoma hikes.